Hey everyone, I'm Naomi Meredith, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flower all out of different types of cardboard. We have three different types of cardboard going on here in this flower design. This is perfect to celebrate spring, different holidays, or just create for fun. So stay tuned and let me show you how we're gonna make this together. For this cardboard flower, you will need any size cardboard tube, thin cardboard with a colorful design like my water box, an egg carton, tape, or a hot glue gun, scissors, markers, and a recycled container of some kind. First, cut out one section of your egg carton. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next, color the sides of the egg carton shell yellow and dot the top with brown. I won't make you watch me color the whole time. Color your whole cardboard tube green. For the petals, we are going to make a stencil to trace. Take a piece of your cardboard and fold it in half. To make a symmetrical petal where it is the same on both sides, we are going to draw the best we can of a half teardrop shape. Then we are going to cut out this shape and unfold the cardboard. This is our stencil that we probably won't use in our final design, so we are going to write the word stencil on it. Grab some more cardboard. We are going to try and fit as many petals as we can on the cardboard so we aren't wasting so much. Trace a petal design, then flip it the opposite direction before tracing the next one. Next, cut out all of your petals. You might have to trace and cut out more petals as you go. It's okay if you see the lines that you traced because you're gonna show the pretty side of the cardboard anyway. We are going to make half L braces to help our petals stick better. Bend the top part of each petal so it looks like the letter L. For this next part, you can definitely use tape and color the tape with marker. Before using a hot glue gun, you need to ask parent permission. In the video description, I have a link to a kid safe hot glue gun if you're interested. First glue or tape the egg carton, which represents the stigma and pollen of the flower on top of your tube. Next, glue and tape the petals all around. The petals don't have to line up exactly. Mine definitely do not, and it makes it perfectly imperfect. Last, we're going to make the roots of the flower to make it a little bit stronger. We are going to use a technique by creating phalanges. Cut four to five slits around the bottom of the tube about a third of the way up. Then fold these slits up. The flower can stand even better on its own now. To give it a little more style, place your finished design in a recycled container, like I did with this candle box. I hope you had a lot of fun making your cardboard flower today. Once you make one, try different types of designs. Try different types of cardboard tubes. You could try using a cereal box, a soda box, whatever type of cardboard you think will look nice for a flower. And remember, nature is imperfect. My flower is not perfect because this is what happens in nature. So try your best to have fun with this, and I can't wait for you to share with me your designs. Have a good day.